What's up, guys? Hey, Welcome to the Hunter and Gunner Show podcast, yeah. where we talk about all your favorite subjects like politics, politics. Yeah. the president. Who's the president? All right, Biden. How we much better you. Stephen King is than Elon Musk? Elon Musk must suck. Jimmy Kimmel for president, yo. Yeah, right on, everybody. And not only that, but we'll tell you who to vote for so you can be part of us. Politics give you kicks, man. Politics Remember, give you kicks. The runner gonna show. The runner and gonna show. Hey guys, I know you're listening to the runner and gunner show, but I got a very special sale on a very special item that I like to talk to you about. It's called the Dylan and Dylan Beard Soap Collection. Hey, yo, man, my beard is always messed up. How am I going to fix it if I can't even go anywhere without anybody looking at my dirty beard? Well, we got Dylan and Dylan's Beard Soap box of assorted beard soaps for you. Ask our customer. He's very satisfied. His name is Lawrence. Lawrence, how's your beard? Hey, yo, I was Lawrence, and my beard is nice and clean now because I've been washing it with all this beard soap. Oh, man, thank you, beard soap. You You'll saved my beard. You'll get the bar of beard soap. You'll get the liquid beard soap. You'll even get the beard brush. And now introducing the beard, Dylan's and Dylan's beard shampoo for your hair. Ring! My beard is squeaky clean. Thanks again, Dylan's and Dylan's. And remember... When you buy Dylan's and Dylan's beard soap box of assorted beard soaps, remember to use the promo code Kiss My Butt and you'll save 20% today! www.dylansbeard.com Yes, uh, welcome everybody welcome to, back to the podcast. The Runner and Gunner podcast. And we are here with you guys. Uh, we are changing the show. I know it's, it's a whole uh, new show. Very bright and sunny and cold and wintry outside all rolled into one little a little bundle potato, that you got to kind of you know and so in, kind uh, of figure out the new runner and gunner job. Where we're going to be talking more about gardening and gardening which wow. gardening tools for you to buy so you could grow yourself some vegetables in your front yard and um yeah and with growth, growth. comes death also it because death. when you grow you also have to die later on. <laughs> so we're also going to be talking about the murder, murder cases that have cases. been unsolved. As uh, Snoop Dogg said, uh, murder you know, was the case. And so this whole new show product is going to be about the, the gardening murder. Show. We're going to have half the, gardening and half murders. Murder which by gardener which? tools. So they use the little scissors and the little shovel. Oh. And they dig that little old grave. Oh. And, um... It gets a little so, yes, evil. So, yes, we are your host. I'm but, Gunner Gunthelm, you, and yeah. this is the other host, and I'm Run Our Run Alone. Run Alone, and we're just telling you guys that we... We're just kidding the whole time! We're just kidding, you fools! Fools, you! Marty Crap! Oh! Yeah. Cheers, guys! Oh yeah! Oh, oh yes. man, that is a sweet sip. Mm. How how good is this? Uh, Diet sip, see? Diet, Diet sip. sips. Oh man, and I'm drinking a under pressure sip. But I let's mean, go. Uh, so yeah, this is the Runner Gunner Show. Cancel all that. We were just messing around with canceling you guys all that because um, we still want Janet we're Reno to no dance. Gardening. We're not doing no murder mysteries. We are doing Runner and murder Gunner Show mysteries. We are doing what we came to do, which is entertain you, entertain and be amazing. And help you all with your mental health by giving you laughs and giving you love. And you know that when you hear the Runner and Gunner Show, and you have the little bundles of happiness growing happy inside joy. your stomach. Happy and it's from joy. us to you, yeah. from me to you. And when you meet those chicks that you most desire in your lifetime, you know they had a little help from your two main guys over here. The runner are going to show. That's right. That's right. You don't remember what Trump said about me. Oh, yeah. Grab them under. What? Yeah. Hold on, everybody. We're here. The runner are going to show. 
We are here to get a show. Season this five. Season five. It is coming to a conclusion pretty soon. Very yeah, we're soon. almost concluding it. But we are changing ever so. We're morphing. We're learning. We're growing. We're getting better. We're getting better and not wiping out. We have more views. We got an Instagram account. We got a Facebook oh, account. Oh, yeah. We got to check it all out. It check is freaking oh, happening. Oh, 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 oh. It is happening. But we, we, we got we got some things got to some talk about in the that's show. that's going on today. Well, anyways, well, let's just give them the conclusion of Thanksgiving. We hope everybody yes, had a great Thanksgiving. Absolutely. We hope you guys ate Before we get right. Into the show. And, and after you, you took a long run, walk, or something to, to work off all that food, because you got to do something, because that's so much food. Oh, man, I took what, a walk every single right, morning. So, Gunnar, what was your favorite um, part of Thanksgiving of the food I'm talking about? The food only. So, if you could pick one Let part, me tell you. what was your favorite meal? So, I had... Um, Thanksgiving. Not dinner. of all time, just of this year. This year, yes. 22. I had Thanksgiving with my family. Um, I, I, I have a big family, so I have a couple Thanksgivings every yeah. year. Yeah. Um, this year, with my um, mother's side of the family, cool. went over, they had, um, my niece made chocolate cookies. Oh, homemade. Homemade. homemade? Oh. Not using the box, from scratch, with the chocolate, cocoa, and the powder, the sugar, powdered sugar on top. Wow. It was amazing. That of course, they had good. the turkey. Of course, they had... um. They uh, made stuffing out of White Castle burgers. Oh, man. Um, bacon wrapped asparagus. Woo! But then later on in the same night, I went over to Runner's house. You sure did. And he had tamales. I did have tamales. Let me tell you, those tamales were my favorite of all the turkey dinner that particular night. And they were very and good. It is true. Gunner did come down later on when I was already a few. Uh, Yep. Thursday evening cracks in. Few Thursday and so, uh, I was feeling pretty good, and he had showed up with some more cracks, and it just turned into a thing. And, and Mexican so Twinkies. Ate. Anyways, uh, my favorite part of that meal probably was my sister's ham. She made some really good ham. My mom made oh, yeah. some good turkey. The ham. I can't say anything bad about anybody because um, I don't want to get jumped. So everything <laughs> I ate was good, unless I want to get my butt kicked. So I won't say if anything yes. was bad either way. So it, I'll say everything was equally bomb. It was great. It was all great, you know. Thanksgiving is concluded. Thanksgiving yeah, 2022. Thanksgiving is over. Um, a fine American culture. Tradition. Fine American tradition. Yeah. Where the Indians and the pilgrims. It's all about uniting. Met each other and became friends. It's all about uniting. That's what America is about. That's what the Hall is about. Yes. And that's what we are about. And that's what we're about. Uniting Thanksgiving, the everybody. World. We're Thanksgiving Indians. Thanksgiving 2022 is over. And so now we're getting into the new month. And speaking of the new month, we're getting into a new subject. Of we're the getting into a show. new so subject. So we're going to tell you guys about... Free we, we got some podcasts. things. We got some things to talk let's about. Let's tell them about so, these podcasts. So these podcasts. What it means. Like, let, um, let's explain. So I listen to podcasts. Um, not too many, mm-hmm. but I've been noticing this pattern. Yeah, that podcasts are podcasts are all sharing. They're it's all like a traditional type of deal. Huh? It's like a, like a. But but it's so brand new. It can't possibly be a tradition. You know, something yeah, that's podcasts. only five years old cannot have tradition in it yet. You know. Yeah. And you so gotta... this layout that these podcasts are using are all exactly the same. Every all single podcast same. you listen to on the internet, Joe Rogan, WWE podcast, the actors podcast, learning Spanish, Duolingo. It's all the same. It's all the same. It's all. Same. It starts off with here. Let me tell you about my sponsors. So we're not going to do that here. Yeah, we don't on need the to Runner do that. And Gunner we show. don't need to do that. We got to figure out our own thing because And that's why you don't... guys listen to us is because we aren't like the herd. We aren't like the rest of them. We don't have the same layout as every other podcast. We don't talk about the same things that everybody in the world's talking about. We aren't Democrats. We are loving. We're filled with forgiveness and happiness and the ladies love us. We actually got half women watching our show. Um 35-year-old Lenny's probably just hate our guts because we tell the truth. You know, we talk about things in a matter that nobody's doing, although they should because no they one's should. running they our show. To. We produce the show, so we get to tell ourselves what we want. What we want to do and what we want to talk about. Yeah, we what just, we can and can't Sometimes talk about. we don't even write it down. We just get, we never write it down. We yeah. just get on the microphone and just start saying what we got to say. No scripts. And this well, is a it. A little bit of scripts. But let me no, tell you no guys scripts. back to what Gunner was talking about. Gunner was talking about following the same patterns, going the same directions, and doing the same thing as everyone the else. The same thing. And so, it isn't normal. It's not normal. And you're going to end up going to a weird place in your life, and it's just going to end up in a dead end zone. Mm. If you keep doing that, you will Touch back. not. So, and also, when you make the same podcast, it is an area which we call you're stepping into the twilight, zone. the twilight Zone. You see, when other people 
try to copy everyone else to make a buck. The producer was actually supposed to put on the song, but the instead product. we got the vocal part of it. It doesn't matter. You guys get the get what we're talking about here. We were we talking the about yeah, they we, get the gist of it all. But we were talking about how they follow each other, and it's so dumb. Each other it's like so dumb. Why would you like, follow someone? Okay, one person successful on one formula. Yeah. Why don't you create your own new formula? Get in the freaking get into your weird science mode and get all those little. That's you know, right. All your knowledge and whatever you know it is best. And follow your own formulas. Just Why don't formulate you? and create. Formulate and create your own new content. This new content it's gotta be, be new. great. Just like uh, Tony Tiger said. And also, <laughs> uh, nobody has a duo like the runner and gunner. Everyone's got solo one person talking yeah, on the microphone. Months. Like, dude, if there's anything that's so narcissistic and so arrogant, mm -hmm. it's having your own podcast where it's just you talking to the microphone. So you only get one opinion. Like right here you're getting, I might say something and Gunner might not agree with what I'm saying. Yeah. And I, and I runner might say something and Gunner's like, no, no, no. We and, have a yin know, and we, yang, you know, yeah. we got like, we, we, you know, it's two different a creative show? minds warped into one show, it's which a, is it's, really it's a cool. Show. It's entertainment. You know, it's mm -hmm. not like, we, we throw facts in there. We got so facts. Many, plenty of facts, yeah. But it's more to entertain you while you're driving in your car. Yes, it's, yes. It's uh, something to keep you from playing with your phone while uh, you're in traffic. And it's supposed to be uplifting to, it's supposed to, be to uplifting. lift your spirits on these Mondays. Because, you know, a lot of people are down on Mondays. Maybe they had a great weekend. Maybe they had a slow Sunday. Yeah. And we're trying to get you back to the work week and trying to get you uh, focused and, and, for your week. And, you know, uh, fun. Entertainment is supposed, it's called entertainment. It's not called bring me down. It's not called make me sad. You know, I see so many movies nowadays where like the hero dies yep. or the bad guy wins. Yep. And it's like, that ain't entertainment. You just. Oh, he gives the, the, he rescues the girl, gives her a kiss, then gets shot in the back of the head. Yeah, you neon. know, it's like freaking it's... Leonardo DiCaprio and The Departed. And it's like, dude, we want to, we watch movies and we listen to radios to escape the violence of the world. It's supposed to be fantastical. It's supposed to be phony. And that's Mythical. what we do with the yeah. Runner and Gunner show. You know, we are characters. Right now, I'm drinking a Diet Coke. This ain't even uh, beer. I don't know what I'm drinking, but um, it's, <laughs> it's something that's not Diet or Coke. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's good. We're like cartoon characters. And so with these podcasts that are taking themselves so dead serious. Yeah, they got to chill out. You got to loosen up. You know, I mean, if it's that's like, how the person we're not your really therapist, is, you know. Yeah, if that's how the person really is in real life, why would you want to hang out with someone like that? Oh, like in man. real life, chill out with this person. Sit down and let me just, teach you. Yeah, just listen to me. I am correct every yeah. time. <laughs> you know nothing. No, we're not about that. We want to hear your opinions. Why would we you want to know? You can't teach what someone who already on, knows everything. What is your opinion on and thoughts on the world that we give out there? That our content that we upload for you guys and we want to hear your opinions on it also and we will hear your opinions on it and we will talk to you guys about it as soon as you guys you know give us anything any kind of feedback i mean we have a lot of feedback yeah. and a lot of stuff that's why we talk about these you know the the content that we talk about the projects that we talk about and the free podcasts that we are talking about right now our podcast is free you we see have you listen to all those free. those songs one, one of the only free ones out there Watch. actually I'll, I'll prove it to you that this is a free podcast. Example coming up. Incoming example. Incoming example. Please listen. Incoming example. Open your ears. Intruder in college. It Intruder in college. Ears opening like doors. See? Beamed in. Mickey and Sylvia. Thank you, Scotty. Beam us up. In Joe Rogan's podcast, he can't play this. Why? Because he had to pay them. Because he, he gets pay paid. Them. See? But us, our money doesn't come from this you. podcast. We don't make, this is like pro bono, this is non-profit, our money comes from other aspects of the show, but not the show itself. Why? Also, when you see a hot chick, get a pro boner. And get, give her your pro boner. <laughs> also, everybody, you know, this is the free podcast. We bring you licensed music, we bring you oh, the yeah. Beatles music, we bring you Rolling Stones, very expensive music very, to play. Very, very, very. But since we're very, not getting paid anything for it, we can play it. Yeah, at our liberty as much as we want, and it's free for you guys to hear. And it's free for you, it's, and everybody wants to wake up to the Rolling Stones, good stuff, Beatles, it's back not, to back. You know, yeah. How many more? How many mornings could you wake up and then you hear freaking? Oh my goodness, um, the greatest music ever. Uh, Carly B, and uh, not to make fun of Carly B, but she sucks. Or just listen to that every single but what day. What about the Legend of John? John, and, and it legend. lives on. His and legend lives on. Who, there once was a man in a town. Very, very long ago. Very long ago. And he was united with his bride. And his name was? John Legend. Did you say John Lennon? No. <laughs> John Lennon the Beatle. 
Wait a minute. Let's uh. uh who is John Legend? Uh, Legend in his own. <laughs> Hold on. <up. laughs> You're gonna tell me that there's actually someone out there named John Legend. And his last name is really legend. And so, like, if you're at the supermarket and you're flipping through the CDs or the records and you're like, I feel like watching some John Le. And movie. then you're like, John, oh, there he is, John Le. And you just see John Le. And you pull the CD out and you take him to the cash register. But legend is right in front. And then you look at it, you take, they put it in the bag so you don't get to see it. You put it in your, you take it to your car. You get in the car, open up the CD. And you see a black guy on it, and you're like, all right, well, maybe John Lennon's, you know. Uh, maybe it's his protege. Yeah, you know, whatever. whatever. It's, you put yeah. the CD in, and you find out that it ain't John Lennon. It's someone named John Legend. The legend lives Like on. John Legend. See, that's what the You, you can't even string John Lennon's guitar, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> and second of all, uh, I think I'm going to become a famous pop musician and name myself uh, Paul McCarthy. Oh, yeah. Uh, what are you going to name yourself? Um... Ringo Favre. <laughs> so Ringo Favre and Paul McCarthy. So when you're at the supermarket and you're flipping through CDs and you're like, I feel like listening to a Paul McCartney CD. Oh, and you pull out a Paul McCarthy. You don't realize you get it. it. You get it Take first. it to the cash register. They put it in your That's bag, right. put it in your car, and put the CD on. You find out that it's not Paul McCartney. It's Paul McCarthy. And if you want to hear the song Photograph, and <laughs> mine is called Autograph, Ringo Favre. <laughs> Ringo so Ringo Favre, Favre you look up. You know, RF is before RS, so you're going to get Farves first. Autograph, not photograph, autograph. Yes, everybody. All right, this is the Runner Again Show podcast. We're being silly. We're, we're not angry. We're just telling you that there is an alternative there to is. the media that you're listening yeah, to today. To that stuff, and you can get the free stuff here. And we could just, we're just giving it to you, giving it for you. It's free. We're going to be talking about this and a whole lot more. We're going to be talking about NBC, So much more CBS. stuff. And also, when we come back, we are going to be talking about the LGTB community. The and we're going to be talking about BLM. And also, the presidential election of 2024. Oh, that's right. And also, we're going to be talking about Don't forget to vote for Kanye West. Nancy Pelosi and Kanye West. All this and a whole lot more. too. But not until after these yes. commercial, commercial breaks. breaks. Hey, what you making, Jamaican? I'm over here making some uh, jerk chicken. I'm in Jamaica. How much for that jerk of chicken, man? It's only $7.99. $7.99, man, I'll take two. And here's a red stripe and some jerk chicken. Good, good, you got a little over oh, my shirt, man. Oh, man. Hey, man. When you get jerk chicken all over your socks and you're in Jamaica, you stop. This is my right. Right. Monday freaking morning freaking crap. Mother sucks. <laughs> yeah. Oh. The freedom to crack open whatever your favorite beverage is. It doesn't have to be beer. It doesn't have to be wine. It doesn't have to be Ooh. fantasy. It doesn't have to be Jack Daniel. It doesn't have to be brandy. It doesn't have to be whiskey. It doesn't have to be adios. But it's got to be freedom. <laughs> For whatever it is, open it and be free. Open up a Sprite, a Coke, a Pepper, whatever. All right, everybody. Back to the Runner and Gunner Show podcast. Oh, We're, yes. The Runner and We Sh- definitely are back to it. The free We'd podcast. We'd like to thank our sponsors over in Jamaica. Thank you for the overseas uh, sponsor. Thank you, Tide. Thank you, Jamaica. Yeah. Thank you, the world. Hey, we love Jamaica. We love every person of every color. Yeah, and of every racist. flag. You know, because every flag has a beautiful woman. Yeah. And every flag has cool people and every flag has morons. So you got to realize and that. We, lo- there we love be, them both. No matter how morons free of a cool country. People. Yeah, yeah. But it's just. If it, that's where you draw the line of the spectrum of humanity, you're either cool or you're dumb. We love mm-hmm. you both. Yeah, both. Because we know that both have something that of them that you could not use, but you yeah. could uh, feed off of, you yeah. know. And both have an idea of what something good is. And as long as they listen to the Runner Gunner Show, yes, it's the Runner Gunner Show, the Runner Gunner Show podcast, the free we podcast. Really that love is, them. yeah, we call ourselves the free podcast, the free because we podcast. play licensed music, uh, we, we play copyrighted music, 
We play the Beatles. We play Rolling Stones. We play. Oh, yeah, we do. So on a Monday morning, you can listen to it because no radio station on earth is going to play the Beatles unpaid for, the, the Rolling Stones. The Stonies? All this expensive, valuable music for your ears, this golden river of sound oh. to your ears on a Monday morning. This is what you want to hear. Golden pavement. No one's going to pay for you to listen to that for free. And we're in the golden it, state. You do it nonprofit, and this is pretty much just a home video that I'm recording yeah. and posting on the internet. That's about it. That's about all we're I'm doing. I'm home. You are my we're, family. We are giving you the freedom of life and of topics, and we don't, you know, we don't have to pay freedom anything to them. And so you could you could have your own opinions. We're free to your. We're wide open for your opinions. Whatever you guys think about what we're talking about, whatever, whether you love it, hate it, or if you're a fine girl, want to date it, then let us know about all that good stuff. Yes, because you know? we care about your the opinions of our show, and we are awesome. Go ahead and so check us out why... on Instagram. We're there. We're there on Instagram. Uh, we've been getting lots of uh, content going. We got Runner and Gunner Man. Runner He's Gunner our Man. mascot. If you don't know who Runner and Gunner Man Runner is, Gunner Man. Runner and Gunner Man is our mascot. He's, He's on the cool. Instagram page. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's also one of our friends He's a cool in guy. real life, but we use the cartoon version of him. Yep. He designs all. Um, he designs our Instagram. Pretty for much us. the page. So yeah, show him your respect. Give him your likes. Follow, like, and yep. subscribe. You know, thank and love. Peace oh, and joy. In fact, we're going live at the end of the show. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a lot more content coming up for you. Uh, we're upgrading towards our equipment the towards the end of this season. Uh, things are going oh, yeah. good over we here got at Morgan Studios. Trust us, we got more plans. We got plenty of things planned out for yes. next season and beyond. So we're already, it's it's the game of chess. We already checkmated about three boards or four boards ahead of yeah. where we are now. So we got stuff we planned for got you guys. Subscription. So you got to stay, you know, just stay in tune with us and we're going to keep going. We're, the content is going to only grow and get better. Yes. Funnier. It is. More entertaining, more knowledgeable. And just, uh, you know, showing you guys that we really care. We do. And I know we didn't have a lot of interviews this season, but the season was just oh, about yeah. growing and glowing and, um, you know, feeling fast, showing everybody how it is. Um, we've kind of just been designing the show, experimenting with where we want to take it. Yeah. So next season, we're going to have a lot more interviews. We're going to have mm -hmm. a lot more uh, running on the street, live content. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to a lot Get more ready concerts. For it. Uh, we're going to be start throwing concerts. Oh, yeah. Uh, local bands over here in the Los Angeles area, California, United Wait, States. Wait, local or local? A little bit of both. Okay. A little bit of <laughs> both, though. Crazy and Daisy. <laughs> yeah. All right, but... <laughs> So, you know, that's all we're saying is uh, go ahead and follow our Instagram, Runner and Gunner, yes. hashtag Runner and Gunner, Facebook, Runner and Gunner, Runner and Gunner Life, Runner and Gunner Mania. Yeah. Uh, we're stay gonna in tune with yourselves and stay in tune with us and you, uh, as you saw on the can be a winner Instagram, we had uh, uh, Johnny Knoxville. Knocky, knocky. So go ahead and uh, check out our Instagram, everybody. We're gonna we're He's not gonna there. stop He's saying really that, but we gotta stop saying that right now because the producers are giving us that throat cutting signal. Was that the finger? Oh, I mean, uh, they said, uh, let's go, let's uh, keep on going with the oh, show. Keep anyway, on going. we're going back to the subject producers. that we're before. We're talking to you, which producers. Is producers. So, we pretty much, I mean, our producers, we just take it where we want to take it. You know, they just let us float along, you know, like John Lennon once said, float upstream. That's what we do. We just yes. let our. We let our voices float up the stream and we just create Absolutely. our contact with it, with our contact, our context and our content, yes. whatever way we want to uh, drive it. Our yes. Carry it. We carry our context, as you know, in the runner gonna step passion. That's right. You heard the disclaimer in the end of the show. The you end know of that the show. A fictional know. show with fictional characters. But mostly, yeah. I mean, most of the opinions. I mean, it's up to you. Take it as you take it. That's what we mean. It's so like, when we put the disclaimer, take it as you take it, because oh God. most of the stuff is correct, and the other stuff is not in. You know, it's perfect to. Um, yeah. So we're just telling you, everybody out there, that we're trying to film this show so that you show. can have a good time, so you can be good to yourselves, and you can be loving and kind and beautiful to everyone you know. Yeah. And, and just keep on doing great. what you're doing. Just keep on having a good time. We got the free podcast, always and always. forever. Always. Um, we got the, the um, NBC producers. The NBC producers. Watching our moves. So we just got to... Throw out a quick shout out to the producers. We're gonna hey, say that we love we the love producers. each and every single one of you guys, and they really and make we things really happen. We really want to thank them for helping us out throughout everything. You know, picking out their our songs and just you know editing, producing, doing doing what the major stuff that you guys don't see in the back are in the 
other side of yeah. the show. You know, the Pain flip side Turtle. of the show. Putting us, yeah, Tide. I mean, all the sponsors, not just Tide, but every sponsor yeah. that's out there. You know, Dylan and Dylan. Uh, Dylan, every, Dylan. Yeah, thank everybody. you, Dylan and Dylan. We got producers, too. Um, the whole world's got producers. But we're saying the whole world's got producers, but Spotify and podcasts and Google Podcasts, oh, man. they don't have producers. I mean, yeah. not if you're self-running it yourself, if you created it out of your basement. Yeah. You shouldn't follow a layout of what NBC producers want a podcast to sound because you don't have a layout. You're, you don't have a strict guide that you got to follow you, know, you don't got to use the same layout what i'm trying to say is all the podcasts have the same layout you have a little Pretty commercial much. in the I beginning mean, everybody you goes... have a second little commercial in the beginning you have a little theme song doesn't it seem like everybody's going in the same direction like it's a it's, it's the like same a, a direction whirl, a whirlpool of podcasts you know what i mean and and we're saying in nbc just... it makes see... sense that all the sitcoms are exactly suited the same because they all have to go through one guy in the end of it all gerald gerald the, the producer of NBC yeah. has to see it all and say no, it needs to follow. And that's the what I was saying that of it, NBC that are the podcast nowadays. The it's podcasts going don't in, have a producer in the same circular rotation. But what happens in a whirlpool? Eventually, it all gets sucked in. And that when it gets true. sucked in, it never comes back. It just gets sucked in and gets demolished. Yeah, it lost in the infinite. Lost in the infinite circle of infinite, death. It's like a black hole. It's like yeah, eternity gone. So what we're saying is, our content is never, ever going to be. The same ever. We don't we're, listen we're, to we're other don't, podcasts. First of all, yeah. except for Stone Cold Steve Boston podcast. Shout out Stone Cold, Stone Cold, and maybe the Stunner. Danny Trejo Stunner of the Day, Danny Trejo podcast. Maybe I haven't heard it, but I'm Gunner I Stunner wouldn't mind. Hmm. So what we're saying is, ABC producers follow the suit. Podcast no producers built inside yeah. your home uh-huh. with your microphone. Yes, yes. No yes. producers. You could do whatever you want. You could lay it out any way you want. Anyway. The, the content of the show could be any way you want. The quality could be any way you want. Oh, yeah. The, everything could Every be absolutely single free thing. creativity on the radio for everyone to listen to because yeah. we all sit through traffic. And so we love podcasts. We do love it. But we're saying that it's free. Like, mm-hmm. stop adhering to these guidelines that don't exist because... It's free. Now, if you do get a producer yeah. and they make you a lame you know, whose fault is that? That That's not the podcast's fault. It's the creator. It's the creator. It's the creator's take, fault. Signing his name. Yeah. You know, but if you're just someone getting paid but off even a if podcast you sign your name, you by still, yourself. You still don't have to follow that. You could just say, you know, I'm, I'm done with this, with this way of the way they're taking me, the direction. They need to change yeah, it, but right. they don't want to change then, their motion. They still want to row, row, row your boat. Done, you can be like, no, I'm gonna go row back. your boat gently into the circle of demolished demise. <laughs> yeah. And so that's what they're doing. And that's what we're telling you guys. We're going in a whole new direction. We're gonna take this direction beyond. Yes. You know, we're going around that's the what circle. We're saying. So we're going the circles this way. We're going, we're making a U-turn and going the other way towards outer space, towards like why create across boundaries? The universe. Runner and gunner, we don't follow the boundaries of podcasts like Do what not. is the boundary there is no boundary there is no boundary in the runner gunner show there is no boundaries so, like runner said we're taking this into a whole new direction Section. imagine there being a, a hole sinking to the bottom See, we love we're moving california. away from that hole we love we love southern california we love la we love all of it but we want to take you know our little podcast our big podcast which is little right now it's going to get started big started little so it's going to start little it's growing season 1 and as it grows i know season 1 was really season one. really uh yeah that that one's going to go in the specials cuz we can't really release season 1 anymore we're going to put it in the special archives and give it to only the ones that pay you know th- that one's going to be harder to reach but anyway we'll talk about that later right now we're talking about how our show is much more different than other shows and it will be it will stay that way we promise you guys we will not give in to the producers trying to change our minds trying to make us like all the other podcasts like hey you got to stick to this one subject and you got to stay there no we're gonna be wherever we want do whatever we do with the freedom just like paul said paul james said freedom is about saying what you want doing what you want releasing what you want and keeping the content original on the runner and gunner show and besides they already pay us a hundred thousand dollars an episode what more do we need how much better can it get oh yeah that yeah how much better can it how much possibly get oh man and so we got this free podcast going for you and we're not like anybody else we don't do the same things. That's what, that's what Runner was saying. We're taking it into a whole new direction. Mm-hmm. We're taking the concept of podcasting and creating it into our own direction. And we're just thinking about yeah, new putting, things you could do with the radio and the and we're giving it to them though. Instagram. We're, we're actually doing it for us and them at the same time. So it's for it's for uh, us and our audience too. 
so they could enjoy and we can enjoy. Yes. Enjoy together. Because I love creating. I am a creator. Same. And it brings we me are creators. great happiness, a tremendous amount of happiness mm-hmm. to create these podcasts, edit them all up, showcase them to you, and everyone listen to them, and everyone gain knowledge out of them, yeah. and people starting to change. They're yep. starting to change. They're hearing the Runner and Gunner show, and it's affecting their lives in a very positive, positive way. Positive directions, right. That's right. That's what we want, and that's what we're here for. And so... Pretty much that pretty much uh, says everything about the direction of the show and how me and Gunner are so much different than other, you know, other podcasts out there. Yeah. You know, everybody seems the to be Runner's got his own opinion. And, going the same. And then Gunner's and got his own not. opinion. Then the duo, no no podcast has got a duo, first of all. There's we none. are going to, we are aiming at that duo. You know, we we already got duo over yeah. here because there's nobody else out there. Because we love Kevin and Bean. Huevos. You know, yeah. Ke- there were a duo on the radio, radio duo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, well, yeah. But they don't got that. Like m- the majority of all podcasts are run by just one person yep. speaking their ego into the yeah. microphone. Yeah. Like unless they are very well studied and talking teacherhood mm-hmm. to your listeners, then there's n- n- it's just entertainment. And yeah. so if you're going to be listening to just entertainment. Hey, why do you listen to the Runner and Gunner show? For entertainment <coughs> and knowledge. Both. And knowledge and entertainment, yeah. So in so case you're listening, if you're if you're going to listen to the Runner and Gunner show, then you might as well not listen to other podcasts because we're so different. Unless that podcast is training you and teaching you something. Man, that's cool. And there's no problem with that. Learn your trait. Learn your, you know, hold your weight, as they say. Yeah. So do your thing and... Create that thing, whatever it is that you want to become or whatever it is that you are training towards becoming. But when you're done with that, you can always come back to the show and just, you know, enjoy yourself. Just let your mind relax. Yeah. And that's what we do. Let us. We like we massage your guys' brains is what we do. That's right. I want you to be happy. Women, men, your brains will be massaged and you guys will just be cool after. I feel like society functions way better, stronger and healthier when they're all relaxed and happy. Yeah, exactly. You get harder workers. Uh, you know, happy worker is a hard worker. Hard workers have same, same, same. So same thing. that's we're, what we're talking about. And that's why we always, all, we're here for the working man and the working woman. Yeah. And we always were. Yes. And that's the whole concept always will of the show. Be. Always will be. If you, you can know? have a great Monday, you can have a great life. And we do that for the working man and, and the, the woman. And the woman. Yeah. For yeah. everybody. Yeah. Every, this is a family friendly show. Family Your kids can listen to it. You know, we got stuff for the kids too included. We got we got a little bit of everything. You know, we it's like a big old mixture of everything good. You know, it's like Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving all rolled into one bundle. Are your favorite holiday? It doesn't matter what it is. St. Patrick's Day, Cinco de Mayo, Drinko de Drinko, whatever day it is. Yeah, we're there for you. You, you can enjoy it. it and we're here every Monday too. We're kind of like teaching you guys that uncle you guys. that you get to see. Yeah. All right, so now oh, next we, subject, we everybody. spend it to you guys. You guys know. Everybody want to say that we love you guys. Bam, Thank TV, you guys so bum, much. Bum. All right, so now let's get into the top selling console of all time. Hold on. Can you guess what it is, Lenny's? Lenny's and gentlemen and ladies, can you guess what the top selling video game console Wait, don't system... forget about the ladies. Oh, ladies and ladies. Lenny's, please leave at this moment. Ladies and ladies, can you guess the very top selling, selling console video game console of, of all time. time? Which one is it? Is it PlayStation 1? Uno. Is it Uno. Xbox S? S? S. Is it the PC? PC. Well, yippee skippy. Let's um how, how are we going to we got to think of something a way to like tell them what it is. Let's start by telling you what our favorite console is each. Favorite. Of all time. Of all time? Of all time. All We're right. talking about old time, all time. All time. So could... Every system across the board, including PC. Hmm. What are you going to pick? I'll tell you what I'm going to pick. Well, what have you put the most hours into our time into also? See, that might not be the same console either. I'll See, tell that, you what. That's why it's different mm, for me. For me, it'll put, be what is the coolest what is the most cutting edge? What is so different and the best? Huh. 
For me, I'd have to say the Nintendo Switch. I know the Switch is so cool. It's just I do so like it. Cool. I do a lot. Like it's hard. Like what? That's the how hard heck it is, is to that pick. Thing? That's how hard it is to pick. But like, how come those graphics are so good? You know, for me as a little tiny kid and opening that Christmas box oh, and just man. remembering how wonderful it felt the feeling was, uh, uh, I'd yeah. go with the Sega Genesis. Oh, oh, I remember that day too. And um, yeah, I mean Sonic the Hedgehog just. I remember. It just, just, it's, just, it's just a lot. I lived in Orange County in an apartment with my pa- my, my mom. Yeah. And um, she was a single mom, freshly divorced. You had two siblings, or yeah. three or five? And, um, yeah, <laughs> I, had, I had several siblings, and they were all there, too. I had eight. And my grandmother was there, too, in a little tiny apartment in the OC, a bunch of Mexicans. Oh, yeah. And then... There it was, the box, and I think I, I knew it, you know? In my heart, I knew it. Yeah, yeah. But I, I didn't know it, you know? You kind of knew something was going on. But you know what did happen? I do remember this. I opened Street Fighter for Sega Genesis first. Oh, man, that was and a it great was on. game. And it was yeah, on. That was oh, cool man. Game. That was a great game. Yeah. You that, know, that was the top arcade game converted to a Moms don't know how consoles. to pick video games for of their, course they their don't. kids. They so do not. W- when they pick a video game... They usually go for the best one. What the, the, and that means the most expensive one. Most expensive one, yeah. That's all the best one just means the one with the big price tag on it. She's like the one the and actually the one that she's seen on the commercial, the one that she yeah, remembers the yeah. commercial for. Because nowadays they have a thing like they put hot on it, like for, for what's yeah. on, what's on sale more. So now the well, moms have more, the now. more of an advantage. Yeah. And then they go for hot and then you could even look up moms could look up on YouTube or whatever. But back YouTube, then exactly. in those days when there's before the internet and before YouTube and before yeah. moms could look up do, the content at, on YouTube. Now. They had advertisements, which were for you kids that don't know, this is a paper. You open it, and well, you... now they got social media advertisements. See, that's why I'm saying the kids that don't know they had a physical piece of paper advertisement back then. You got to look at the advertisement, and yeah, Street Fighter so had a commercial. Hard. They... Street Fighter had a commercial though. They did. They, did. They, they were all cool too. Like Blanca looked like Blanca. Um, Ken looked like Ken. Um, so what about the... Barbie? Oh, Barbie for Sega Genesis was a good game. No, you said Ken looked like Ken. What about Ken? And <laughs> oh, Ken was not in the Barbie game. <laughs> You, that would have been the domestic Barbie game. You don't want that one. Sega Genesis. Don't buy that one. The Barbie game. It was great. Don't, don't buy it. Don't. Oh, I mean, uh, Street Fighter 2. Don't awesome. buy it. Anyways, <laughs> my parents. So, yeah. Well, I mean, my mom bought me Sega Genesis. Boom. Opened it. Boom. Like, could you imagine what I felt back in 1993, I think it was, when I opened, Man. skipped that open, and there was a what Sega a Genesis? Feeling. What about you? How what was a it? feeling. I think you've already said this story, but let's hear the Sega Genesis runner story. All I heard was, what a feeling. All right, we're gonna and play, then I jumped out of my this room. Song. And you, wait, you really did hear that song? No. <laughs> no. I, you never know what a little kid <laughs> wakes up head, to. You know? Know. Like, oh, mom's singing, playing that song? I'm out. I heard like, hallelujah. Right. I was just really Runner, careful. why don't you go ahead and tell so us I, about the time so that back you then, were gifted for okay. Christmas. Let me just make Sega this brief Genesis because there's a long brand version. Brand new original system. And then there's the quick version. I'll give you the quick version because the long version might take a couple days. All right, give us so the So this version is a quick rundown about when Runner opened that Sega Genesis. So what happened was it was a very beautiful night. Uh, my parents were drinking very heavily at the party that we went to. I'm not going to mention if it was 20 miles or 10 miles or two feet away because they don't drink and drive only when they do. But we got home and as we got home, close. all of the kids, all 25 of us were begging to open presents that night. Let's open presents. Come on. Let's open Come on, Dad. Come presents. on, Mom. Let's do it. Let us open it. Uh, all right. Fine. So they could sleep in and work off the hangover. So they could sleep yeah. in yeah. instead of waking their butts up at 5 a.m. or 6. So they let Ding. us open them. Yeah. So we got to open them. <laughs> Unwrap. <laughs> Shoot. Socks. <laughs> candy. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> t-shirt. I don't candy. need damn t-shirt. Man, nah, come yeah. on. Oh, we got one shirt. more for you. Boo. The secret present. Under the cupboard. Oh, under the cupboard. It that was I hidden away. It in. wasn't under the tree. It was under, hidden. It under wasn't the cupboard. under the tree. It came out like all gold. season long. And I was, I was disappointed. They hid it from you. And I was disappointed because I didn't think I was gonna get what I wanted. But then all of a sudden, square box, the secret size box. of a secret of a secret Sega Genesis. Secret box came out. Secret box underneath the cupboard. Unwrapped it. Sega Genesis. Yeah. So the moment you saw that size, like. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, my eyes lit up like the tree. There goes my hero. Yep, the Your light, dad was holding it. My eyes were like the tree, 
And I unwrapped that thing and I was like, set it up, please, right now. Two in the morning. Because you were so young, you didn't even know how to set it up. I didn't know how to set it up. I was little. Yeah. I was about phew, I remember. 10, I, I did learn. Something though. like that. I was little. I was, was a really kid. Little. I remember learning. But, but anyways. I didn't. Yeah. So he set it up. I tried to play as long as I could. And I probably I probably stood up the latest as a little kid that night. Like probably till. You know when you're a kid, you never stay up late. But that night was probably the latest night I ever stood up. So what a wonderful memory. And um, that was... My first console. But now, let's get back. All right, everybody. The biggest and best-selling console. We didn't even say it. We just told our own stories. All right. We haven't even said it yet. All right. (laughs) Here we go. Let's tell them. Ladies and ladies, now the revealing of the number number one one console in the world is uh, the PlayStation numero PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2 was the biggest-selling console of all time, and it's true. Selling the highest, the most popular console of all time, of all freaking time. Not even, um, we're talking about all countries included. We're talking about Mexico, Japan, China, Korea, Korea, the UK, and especially the USA, and especially Antarctica. Oh, yeah, they're freezing their butts off, but, but hey, they have a PlayStation they have a 2. too. <laughs> yeah. They could watch you, you could play Grand Theft Auto in the sunshine while you're freezing your butt off. Could you imagine just pretend? how? Fast computers must work in Antarctica with all that natural cooling in the air. <laughs> <laughs> well, your console will never overheat, that's for sure. <laughs> never overheat. Never that's overheat. for certain. The overheating is not an issue. Yes. But, uh, yeah, so the PlayStation 2, this was a big, big deal. I didn't get one at launch. Did you get one at launch? I think it was like 400 bucks at I launch. I didn't ever own a PlayStation 2. I owned one, but I owned the flat one. I waited day. until later. Although now I wouldn't mind getting one. I, I did own one. I did old one. I bought it from, man, this, back in when GameStop first was created. Yep. It was called Funko Land. Yeah. I remember. I, I went to Funko. Electronic Boutique. Yeah. That's what it I was went called. to Funko. And so oh, I bought. And before that, if you're a real kid from the 90s, you'll remember that it was called Blockbuster Music Plus. Yeah. Blockbuster Plus. Oh, yeah, man. That's and that turned good into old Electronic days. Boutique. And that turned into GameStop. And that was from Funko Land. All that. Anyways, Radio Shack. So I bought one at Radio Shack. I mean, GameStop. I mean, Funko Pops. I bought Kmart. one at Funko Pops. I got everything at Kmart. <laughs> I got so I got the PlayStation, and it was the fat one at first. And guess what? It lasted about two or three weeks and died. Bro. And then so I took it back to the place. This is a true story. This you true got story. It, you got it opening day? No, heck no, it was no. Two, two years later. Ooh, yeah, a couple years. Wait, what year did it come out? Two thousand one. One. Two, three. I got it around 2003 or four, maybe three years later, actually. Okay. So it was still, still. Still cool. It was still pumping. Still good. Probably just That's getting when it good. was going. That's yeah. when it was, the games were coming out. So Grand Theft Autos were already out. I had just moved to a different location of LA. And I had, um, so what happened was I had to buy it and I bought it used at this freaking game, uh, Funko Pop. And when I went to Game Funko, I, um, I, I got it. And it, like I said, it broke the fat one. And then I seen, the the skinny the new slim had just came out right. the new slim had just came out that the year that one did have a bunch of problems the remember that one was a piece of crap so somebody had I sold it though. somebody had cool. gave them a Put used one sideways because you know how they would give them used ones and they would sell them right yeah they would resell them and so that's what happened resell. somebody gave so they resold it and it was crap it took a dump on me quick and so Again, I went in so two PlayStation twos took a dump on you two but remember the oh, third wait, one hold on but the third time is this a conspiracy. Maybe that is the reason two fat that PlayStation, and maybe they designed it this way. Maybe that's the reason PlayStation 2 is the highest selling video game console yeah, in the world it because takes, it kept oh, breaking. It, so everyone who owned a PlayStation 2 owned three or four of them. But then, but then I finally, the third time I took it and I got the mini flat one where, where it oh, flips yeah. open. That one, that's that's the one. If you guys want to buy a PlayStation 2, get, get that, that one. one. I agree. That one lasted forever with me, forever. It's still good to this day, but I don't have it anymore. But I mean, it lasted all the way forever long. And that was like the third or fourth generation. That was like the third 2. generation, I think. But it was cool. After all that the one, bugs were taken out of it. And I mean, the CDs perfected. too, though. The sucky thing is the CDs eventually, you know, just like any console with CDs. With, um, whatever, well, my thing DVR, is like, what are you well, using a CD still for, you know? Mm-hmm. The mini cartridge is the place to go. Cartridge. You want power? Cartridge is the place to go. Boom. You want graphics? Or, boom, cartridge. To make it easier on yourself, you can just get the, you know, go online and purchase something like that through their their store. That makes but it easy for that's everyone. That's the easiest part. 
That's the easiest part because, but then if that messes up, then you don't even have no refund. <laughs> you're just, you're screwed. Yeah. But that's um, a chance you got to take. Video game world is so, kind of strange nowadays how you have to buy online digital copies of the game. Yeah, digital. Like if it's digital, go. isn't yeah. it free? But I, I kind of miss the concept of going out and buying a cartridge. It was cool. And get but excited. is that an old school thought? But at the same time, at least now they show previews of the game on the, on the, what's it called copy? The digital copy? Yeah, and you could cool. you could it's get a, a preview of it. The whole market. You could get a preview of it, but back then when it was a card when the, the PS2, wall. yeah, you just gotta look at it and, and read Toys it, Rest. and it looks so cool. And then when you get the game, it looks nothing like the damn card, and you get you're like, this isn't what I wanted. I bought so, an Xbox, and they showed WWE yeah, in happened. the back of it. And when I bought the system, no, WWE didn't exist for it. You see, <laughs> for like a year later, they like to mess with you like that. That's that's marketing. part of the marketing, and they could do it. Because yeah, they're real uh, sneaky. PlayStation mm-hmm. is the sneakiest, like I told you. PlayStation. If is everyone sneaky, who owned sneaky. PlayStation Two owned four of them, well, then of course you're gonna have the best sales in the yeah. world, dummies. Of course you are. So, like I said, anyways, two PlayStation of them, Two is, this is the, the true highest. story. Is two of them the first two fat ones done? Done. No good. Third one, but but what I did is I I bought the insurance on the second one, and then the third one. I, I got to do a little trade in. I remember I did a little trade in with Funko Pop over there, you know. Yeah. Whatever they're called. Oh, I remember so those I did the trade in and they let me oh, trade so that fun. in and get a little discount, pay like whatever difference. And then I uh, got the flat one. And yeah, that was the best selling console of all time. It was a great console to play on. Um, cool. GTA San Andreas. That's enough. San said. Andreas. Um, yeah. That's, that's, I, Gunner, on the other of, hand, one of the best I didn't ever game. own a PlayStation 2. I don't like PlayStation 2. I think the games are garbage. Yeah, I disagree. I think buying two or three of them is garbage. I disagree. To finally get the ult- most ultimate one seven years later, I think uh-huh. that's lame. I don't like the <laughs> sneaky tricks that they try to pull. Well. I don't like how they just try to make you not be able to use mm-hmm. your soundtrack that you download into the system, but you yeah. can't use it to play over the game. Just the sneaky tricks. You see, but another thing I forgot to mention. I don't appreciate them. However, see, wait, let me mention I did one more play thing. PlayStation 2s. Well, one more reason why it was one of the biggest selling consoles is because it was the first uh, console ever that could play DVDs, movies. So, which is so a DVD player used to cost a lot of money back then too. So it was a DVD player slash video game player, which was a big deal back then for those who are was unaware deal. about uh, DVDs. To, so that's why that was play. the first console to ever play DVDs. Yeah. So that was a huge deal. And it could also play CDs, which is music, but it wasn't the first console to ever play CDs. And now they still but, can yeah. watch movies. Like it's still a home entertainment that anymore. system. And I that's, mean, that's another reason I wasn't too, the, yeah. too charmed by the PlayStation 2. I don't want a home entertainment system. Yeah, I didn't want I the, want a video game system yeah, where I can exactly. play fake video games. With mm. amazing graphics instead of realistic graphics with uh-huh. terrible programming. I never used the DVD. Um, it always had bad way. programming, especially if you're a Nintendo fan. You're used to like round, circular 3D motions. Yeah. And PlayStation is so linear, just up and down, straight and left. Yeah, pretty and much. It's still the same way. They just don't got the programming down. I don't know what it is. Sony, I think they're just too sneaky. Except for GTA. I mean, GTA was different. Getting money from you than they are about putting out good quality think, video games. I think they put good quality where they want quality, but the rest they really don't care. Because they did put in a lot of work into mainly their sports games and mainly, of course, GTA. That's about, but the other games, the action games. And uh, even then, I like the, kinda, I like the sports games on Dreamcast iffy. better than PlayStation 2. I don't. I, I, and don't. I just do. Maybe, I don't, maybe not Madden because it was designed specifically Madden, yeah. for. PlayStation, PlayStation 2. Yeah. But other than that, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, I did have hands-on PlayStation 2 many hours. Mm-hmm. Um, the few games that I did get down into, oh, NBA after talking cool all that too. trash, let me tell you. Let me let me throw it back to you, Lenny's. All right, let after him know. talking all that trash, let those I did know. get down on Def Jam, Fight for New York. Oh, yeah, I the rappers. I did get down on that game. All the rappers box, yeah. Um, I did get down initially for the... The, the come out or the release of it there was a game called bouncer i got down on um was that the little the big orange guy it was kind of like just some oh, no. guy who runs Something around else? fighting oh okay uh, i did get down on a game called ur guys by the people who did final fantasy oh okay i always thought all their sports games were just dumpy even compared to the xbox when that finally came out i was like well xbox is better the original Xbox. Well, NBA Street. We're not talking about that. NBA Street um, was really dope in that in that system. Oh, NBA, NBA Street, Street was I amazing. I got down on yeah. PlayStation Two. It was amazing. Just so NBA solid. Street was dope. so amazing. That I also got down on the Xbox version, time. but 
the PlayStation 2 version. It was dope. D, it was better. It was one of the best best games. The I love that game. I, I think, play, ah, I don't know, that Xbox version was good. Anyways, so, you know, tomato, tomato, Xbox and PlayStation. Yeah, um, yeah but, it is, it is. But that game, NBA, oh, there's another one, Street. SSX. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the SSX boarding one. was dope. Snow, was that like snowboard or skate or like? Or, or biking? I forgot what it, it was. was. Um, SS... It was some kind of bike. Snowboarding. Snowboarding. Yeah, SSX there you go. So the first thing I said. Two. Snowboarding. I got down many hours into that game. SSX, yeah. Um, let me see. One more before. I can't think of any more. There was another one. Hmm. Oh, well, Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, of Grand course. Theft Auto Vice City, and Grand Theft Auto 3. So oh, those, many those are the hours those for are the PlayStation classics. 2. Yeah. Those are the classics. Those are. All right. I'll tell you a quick story, but just real quick. In L.A., I was with my cousin, and we were drinking 100 Proof with these guys. And um, they brought out this monitor that they have taken from A school. I'm not going to say any areas uh, oh, or nothing. Shoot. But no, they you took, didn't hear that. Uh, I mean, a monitor that they bought on their own. Yes. Off of a school. Yeah, for a guy in, <laughs> with a TV so, in his trunk. Yeah, t- trunk guy. And so they um they put it on their wall. And this is the first time i actually seen, because this is like, man, what is this, like, 04? This is oh, like, two, yeah. and they had, they had uh, Grand Theft Auto on their wall. And so we were playing and drinking Hunter Proof and uh, smoking uh, nothing. And so it was fun. So anyways, yeah, the PS2, highest selling console of all time. So we are going to get live with it right now. We are going to come back, back. But when we come back, guess what, guys? We are going to give Instagram a free live show before we end the greatest show in your eardrums, in our eardrums, in the world. What's up, Runner and Gunner? Yeah, Runner and Gunner, we we're, are going to tell you guys the weather. Yes, we're Runner and Gunner on the streets, and we're about to go live on Instagram. Instagram. Here we go. Three, Wham, bam, Instagram. Two, one. Checking connection. Checking connection. Go check your direction. What's up, Yo, Runner and everybody. Gunner world? Who's we out are there? Runner and Gunner on the street. Hey, we're on the street, and we are going to tell you guys the street report of the weather. So, the weather is nice. The weather's beautiful. The sun is shining. Not really. It was earlier, but it's nice out here and it's a good day to go out. You know, have a good time. Don't drink too much if you're gonna drive. Yes. Meet people. Very nice weather. Meet and meet. Meet yeah. people, have babies. Hey, check this out. <laughs> good weather having some babies. And there goes Gunner to the weather station. And how's the air over there? All right, so Gunner says. Weather. Yeah, he says it's nice out there. We want you guys to know you got to hear the Runner and Gunner show and check out the Runner and Gunner show on Spotify and everywhere else, wherever you guys are. Just listen up and know that Runner and Gunner do care. We're giving you the weather live. Live. In person. Here's the weather report. It going to rain. Very much so. And also, it's get your umbrellas. Very lovely sunset. It sure is. Well, all right, everybody out there, we just wanted to give you a quick little update about the weather and let you guys know that we are doing a show. A new show is out there, a brand new show, so you guys got to check that out. Keep following, keep listening, and keep being cool. Go ahead and follow, because we're always doing this. Pretty soon, we're going to have some karate lessons where we teach you, the listener, how to do karate on the streets. I'm running around on the street. Gunner show. And we are out. Back yeah. to you, Runner and Gunner in the studios. Thanks for letting us have our time and our segment in Runner and Gunner on the streets. We'll be running and gunning. all the way. Runner and Gunner all the way. Back to you. Yes. Thanks, Runner and Gunner. Thank you, Runner and Gunner. For that um, lovely report. Thank you for that so report. We're, um, Thank you very much are, to Runner and Gunner on the aware. streets. We are now aware of what's going on, and thanks for running on our streets, running the streets. Yep, and that was our live segment for Instagram. You go ahead and match that up with your phone when yeah, you listen to the Runner and Gunner show. And it is live. It's nice and fun for your visuals. No, Visual it aids. It sure is. Visual audio. And it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's also good for your brains, too. So, yeah, it's everybody. It's first aid for the brain. We're trying to reach into the future pretty soon. We got our metaverse. Um, radio show already yeah, made in the metaverse. It is there. Pretty soon we're going to launch. We're going to throw concerts there. Digital oh, yeah. concerts. You know, it's, it's happening. That's the world among us. Runner and Gunner, we're just trying to stay in the future. We're going to give you a little rundown of what the, the show, show you just listened to. 
Yeah, let's hit, let's so, let them hear. So what did we talk about? Oh, we First talked about off, the free podcast. The free podcast and how we are free and how we are giving you guys the freedom of thought. Instead of following the same train process, we are giving you guys the freedom of thought and free to think the way you want to think. Yes, and also we're playing commercially licensed music non-illegally because non we don't get paid for this show so so it's just pretty it's much pretty much a family video yeah home videos it's home, home videos. videos talking to Born ourselves in the future thank you selves thank us thank you thank everyone and what else did we talk about we talked about the best selling console of all time also the best which selling was console playstation we 2 the ps2 and we both uh have our, our separate opinions on the PS2 and the different games that we dislike and like. Yes. But either way, PlayStation the 2, 2 is, is PlayStation the truth. 2 is number one. It's yeah. The truth. Number and one out there. It may or may not have to do with that the system kept breaking, so everyone yeah, who owned one owned about, about three or four. When it's out there, pick your brains, think about how many PlayStation 2s you own. Yeah. It's probably more than one. Or if not, you could always leave us a message and let us know which console you bought. The most times. How many times did you have to repeatedly buy the same console because yours kept shutting down? I only let got one Nintendo on Switch. Instagram. <laughs> oh yes, let us know on, our, on our Instagram which console you has, bought the most of. Had how? Uh, yeah, and how it broke down. Or you don't have to go in details. Just let us know which one was the one you bought the most. So, yeah, and, go on our page and answer that question. Yeah. And if you do, you're gonna have a hundred years good luck. One million. Follow, like, <laughs> subscribe, or else, or else. and do it immediately. Today, now, tonight, right now. Period. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We also talked about producers and production producers. of the podcast because we were saying that if podcasts don't have a producer, why would they follow a layout? Yeah. And they all do follow, follow the same layout pretty much. They pretty go, much. They go with the same formula. And we talked about how they all go in a whirlpool and they eventually are going to sink down because of that whirlpool. And, that and we runner, runner, go in. Women away from the whirlpool. Direction. In our own direction, that's that full is of correct. nice seas, open waters, and infinite creativity. And then towards the end of the show, infinite creativity. We gave you Free guys tournament. the beautiful weather, and we gave you guys our quick little Instagram live section. That was Runner and Gunner. Them. That was that was a different Runner and Gunner, but it's us now. That was our clones. We are not clone no more. This is the original us. So it's you us. guys just got to know that. We are about to break down the show because we got to go and we know that you got to enjoy the rest of your Monday and the whole yes. week. So, also, before we do go, we're going to have to tell you that uh, we are now taking the commercial segment of the commercials out of the podcast and we're going to be putting it into our one minute segment only because this is a complete free podcast. Free, we do have free, one minute free. segments going out. Go ahead and listen to them. They're just funny, quick Stupid jokes. Yeah, just quickness and uh, cool. meant to just uh, get you through your day and give you a little laugh, hopefully, maybe a little bit of knowledge. Yeah. So everyone check out the Runner Gunner Minute. It comes out on the same channel as you're listening to this podcast. We gotta go, everybody. Yeah, we gotta we gotta head out, but we gotta let you guys do your thing and we gotta leave you in the most best graceful yes, way that you, we know how we to need to with make the you feel better. Greatest and best. Part of the show that everybody the loves. Best part of the show. That we like to call the, the Two Minute Run Yeah! Everybody, we got the Two Minute Run Run coming up to you. It is the, 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 the speaking of December 2020, 2020, 2020. Ooh, here we go. In we got the world freaking of soccer. Mexico, Mexico versus Mexico, Mexico versus Mexico. Mexico. How many Mexico teams can you have? What about Not the USA? NFL. NFL. What are we in the NFL? Football. So um, remind you to tell us what's running down in the NFL network. Too. Well, we've seen a lot of good games over the weekend. A lot of uh, moving best teams. The Eagles have the best record. The Cowboys. Phillies. Minnesota. Raiders are not doing as good as we wanted them to, but they, they got a broken car. We got the NBA. We LeBron got LeBron James, James is back. Is back. Finally. He off is of the black and better than ever. Oh, yeah. He is better than Black Adam. The Tell Black, Black Adam, Adam. The worst, absolute worst movie I've ever seen in my entire life. If you like watching a two and a half hour movie with The Rock's shoulders and him slow walking everywhere, then you might like it. But you might be a Lenny too if you do. You might be a Lenny if you like the movie Black Adam. Or as I like to call it, the green screen Adam, which is more what it is. Go Kings! NHL, Go NHL. Kings. It is and we a got frozen the winter. End of college football. So their bowl games are soon incoming. 
Oh, they're going to put all the playoffs together and get everybody together. So get ready for the big ball game. College the the football, year. let's do this. Avatar 2, 2, 2, 2 is coming out. Avatar 2 is coming out this month in December, or actually in December. It'll be the biggest, highest grossing movie ever made. If you want to make some bets on that, Runner will win it. Decorate your houses. Decorate your trees. Decorate your kids. Put up all kinds of stuff for your Christmas spirit. Yes, everybody. Christmas time is here. Go ahead, buy your kids Sonic Frontier. It just came out for the Nintendo Switch. It is the best version of all. And if you buy it today on Cyber Monday, you could get it for... $29.99 $29.99 And actually so for this Christmas holiday, If you did buy your kid an Xbox Or you bought them a Playstation 5 Go yeah. ahead and take that oversized paperweight And throw, throw it, in the, it trash, in the trash Where it belongs Dump and get it. your son a Nintendo Switch Because that is the best system it that is, is where it's at. That is the best system out today Everybody in America we love America. the world God bless you Drive not in safe. America. Drive to work safe America. wherever you're, you're going right now We don't have to let you guys know Drive safe whether you're in America, India, China, England, wherever you are, Spain, everyone, Mexico. And the list is in that we got more women listening to the Run and Gunner show than we do men, Woo! all in Ever! the age groups of 30 to 45. Also, we got China listening China! to us. We got India listening Thank to you, us. India. And most importantly, we got Russia. The Russians are listening Russia. to us. Hopefully they don't hack our show. No, 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 don't hack us. Don't, don't get revenge on me, nerd. Don't it get revenge on me, nerd. Everybody right. is the Runner and Gunner show. We love vodka and potatoes. NHL. We want vodka and potatoes, too. We so, love German beer. Yeah. NHL. Go Kings! Go it Kings. is the Frozen Network. It is Woo. the Runner and Gunner show. Everybody drives safe. Drive Runner and Gunner, do you have any last words that you want to say to this beautiful, wonderful audience that we love and enjoy? Enjoy your December as much as No Sip November was, even though we did sip. Oh. It was just a test to see if you guys would follow it. But we did sip at only minimal amounts, but this is December. Yes. So December, sip whenever. Sip whenever. So also stay we warm. Got- get that eggnog going. Put some brandy in it, you know, get it going. Yeah. Everybody just have a good life and be safe out there. Happy Monday. Solid. Running gun and not responsible for any injuries, postponements, or collateral that may occur during our post segment of our entirety of the show. You are now or have been listening to. We would like to add any involvement with similar subjects in the show are completely coincidental and may or may not be facts. We would also like to thank you, Lennox.